YouTubers, Pancake, and I'm with Horus Herese, board game from Fantasy 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 Flight Games. I uh, just dug it up, so I'm gonna have a bit of a game of this this afternoon. Uh, gaming and painting wise, I've done absolutely jack shit since Salute really. So I've dug this out. As, as you can see from any fantasy flight game, you get a lot of stuff, but with this game, you get a lot of money for your book, for your hard earned cash. You get lots of minis. And it's very tactical, and it's good fun, it's a good fun game. It's all card driven. You've got a vent deck, and there's a bombardment card, and special war gear cards, and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to read for the rules just before dinner, have my dinner, and I'm going to come down here and have a game with my son. I've got Horus up there in the Vengeful Spirit, which I'm going to get into the Vengeful Spirit, teleport up there with a card, special card that you can get to get up there. And I'm going to kick him in the butt. We've got the Emperor down there in the spaceport, hopefully well guarded. And you've already start with a couple of uh, Traitor Legions and that on the board. Get the uh, work up. White scars, blood angels, and imperial fists. I do believe. So I'm looking forward to it actually. Rule books not too big. Easy to follow. Pretty straightforward. Lots of diagrams and shows you how each um, phase and thing works. From the beginning to end, with diagrams showing you how it works, not just telling you, so you can see, so you actually know what you're doing. You know, all the card anatomy, so like a breakdown of what each thing is on the card, so it's, that's easy. Tells you about the activation markers and ever movement around the board. It is um, very well written and a very good game. Most fantasy flight games are. Uh, it's cool, you get little Titan Legions, Tank Divisions, Imperial Guard Divisions, Traitor Legions, look. Thunderhawk gum chips. And the little black bases over there is for the start of the uh, first turn, because this is like the training game. Well, it's not like a training game, but it's the first mission, it's a bit it's easier, uh, one of the few, few scenarios. The uh, Traitor player gets to try and corrupt some of the Imperial Divisions that's on the board. So then you take out the grey base and replace it with a black one, so you know they've turned traitor, which is not good. Uh, the initiative track, this is a cool cool way of running a game. You get an Imperial token and a Chaos token, and move along the board, leapfrogging each other. And each time you land on these, event phase, something happens, or the phase happens, refresh. So you get to the middle, and in the middle one there is a chance of a spaceport victory. And all the way to the end becomes an Imperial victory. But you can win in between by obviously destroying the Emperor or Horus throughout the mission before it ends. Now, you do need a big table for this. As you can see, you get a lot of stuff with it. And I do recommend this game even if you're not a 40k lover of the 40k universe or games workshop but this is a really cool game very strategic and very good fun lots of things happen because of the event cards and everything everything's changing from initiative to initiative it's uh, it's really good fun obviously you get cards in your hand to help yourself out of combat and stuff like that and you've got to try and place cards up there to give you a chance to then move up onto the vengeful spirit and then you can bring in troops down by uh, teleporting them and stuff like that. But obviously, you've got these little um, defense batteries that can take um, them down as they're coming in. All in all, it's a good game. Um, uh, next Sunday, I'm off to triples at Sheffield, so, so that should be good. I'm looking forward to that because I do like uh, triples. It's not far from where I live. Uh, went to Salute, so. I've not like I haven't been anywhere, but I do like triples. It's a good show. Lots of good stuff. And that's it for me. I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Bye.